Let me just ask you straight up. Um, do you have any confidence at all that you can be faithful to this woman? Yes. I think given certain help with the overlapping issues that I think I have and some that I probably don't even know I have, yes. Why? Why now? You, you haven't been before. I'm, I'm under the bus. The tires are spinning on my back. I have nowhere else to go. I'm, I can't go any lower. And it's like I'm on a highway that goes to a gravel road that goes <clears> to a, a back road and there's a cliff. I see the cliff. That's where I'm at. But you've not been honest yet. You, 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 what you do is admit what you're caught doing. You have not been forthcoming. You have not been transparent. I've, you I've you still obfuscate. You still wiggle. You still worm. You, you still, you, you have not been forthcoming yet. I'm trying to. You're just going to go home and this switch is not going to flip. And that when you're out and in a world of temptation, that you're just going to all of a sudden be able to say, no, I'm married and I'm just going to commit myself to this one relationship and I'm going to forget about Scooby-Doo and the Scotsman and <laughs> all of these personas and I'm just going to be Mr. Husband. That all of a yes. sudden something's just happened where that you're just going to do that. I'm at the end of the road. Here are some of the things that he said throughout his interview. And these are just cherry picked. I'm not going to talk about all of them. He says, I would make up extravagant lies and create stories to kind of keep Crystal away. I needed to keep her at arm's length. Uh, I just wanted to live a dual life and keep everything quiet. Since I've been with Sherry, I've had sex with seven or ten women, but I don't really know the exact number. He takes pride in what he's doing. It is. At times, it, over, it overpowers me. That's yeah. my point. But I'm taking steps that I ne I've never taken before with Sherry so that I'm on a, I feel more level with her, and I'm trying to put all the steps in place so that I can't trip myself up. And am I worried? Am I going to relapse? Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm here. Let me tell you what my honest assessment is. That's what I want. I don't believe he's being honest with you yet. Okay at all. Um, I think that um, he is still trying to manipulate this situation. I don't know if he knows he is or he's not. I think you are extremely immature. And one of the things that we know about immaturity is they tend to lack empathy. Absolutely. I, yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> so at that point, there's no consideration of the impact on you. Can he be helped? Can we get him professional help and see if he responds to that? No question about it. That is a possibility. I know the kind of help that he needs. I can arrange for that kind of help for him, but I can tell you that it is a high risk proposition and you need to go into it with your eyes wide open. I am willing, if there's a remote chance, well, I'm willing. You, you give me six to eight weeks with somebody working with him intensively, you will know the answer because Fair. they will tell you straight up, he's either being earnest and he's responding or he's running this scam where he thinks he can con the therapist. That's what I want to know, exactly that. Yeah, and if he doesn't, you need to kick his ass to Absolutely. the curb right quick. Absolutely.